Well, another deadline is fast approaching, this one for students in St. Paul Public Schools. The thousands of children in the district are still not up to date on their immunizations, and that has school officials very concerned tonight. Here's Fox 9's Hannah Flood. We've seen an increase in our number of, of students that are non-compliant for their regular required vaccines for school. Um, which is concerning. Mary Langworthy, Director of Health and Wellness for St. Paul Public Schools, says at the beginning of this summer, around 6,000 of their students were not up to date on their required immunizations. By working with families and providing resources, they've reduced that number to around 3,000. Many, though, are still facing barriers. We've heard from both the community as well as families that there's been some challenges in getting into the clinics, and I think there's still some hesitation in going back as well. According to MDH, the number of two-year-olds up to date with their recommended vaccinations fell 2% from 2019 to 2020 and is on track to fall even further this year. A newly released nationwide study led by local researchers at Health Partners found that across the country during the pandemic, immunization rates fell. So we see a drop in that coverage level, which over time can impact community health um, and have different significance for the potential for outbreaks of diseases to occur. Dr. Malini DeSalva, the author of the study, said they found in the seven-month-old age group, immunization rates dropped 7% in 2020 compared to 2019. She suspects fear of exposure and people holding off on routine checkups contributed to this decline and is encouraging parents to make immunization a priority. It's possible to get caught up. Um, it's never too late to get caught up, so parents should remember that. Families in the St. Paul School District will have to get caught up by the end of this month. So October 27th is our first exclusion date this year, and on that date, we have the potential to exclude students on that date if they're still not up to date. Hannah Flood, Fox 9.